Good evening guys, it's 5.30 p.m. which means it's time for Just Banter, all that is trending and exclusive on social media. You're watching Afia TV official on Afia TV. Of course with me, I have the very beautiful and insanely talented Jay Chiamaka Ipere, who is a student and a movie scriptwriter. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm Looking doing really good. Beautiful. Thank you. Not everybody can pull off like colored hair, but you're doing it very well. Thanks. But I see that your hair is also colored, like your yes. hair is colored. Yes. What color? It's a golden color. Mm. A darker sh shade of gold. I can see it. I think yeah. I can see it. How did your mommy react to that? Well, she's okay with it. It's, it's, uh, it's what I want. So, uh, she's okay with it. I need to, I tell her, you give me a mom's number, so she me <laughs> So she let me dye my hair in peace. I'm not in peace. No, actually, the first time I did it, it wasn't okay because I had to cut my hair. I had oh. to go on low cut. And I was much, much slimmer then. So it didn't settle down with that. But after a while, I was like, Mom, please just let me. I just have to. So sequentially, occasionally, I kept on and okay, she balanced yeah. with it. Yeah. So what you're saying is that she just can't do it. It's will cause problem, but... Your mommy is not my mommy. Yo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let them be friends. So that we can find a way to, you know. Because I, I want to dye my hair, but... Every time I tell her about it, she's like, what thing do you? Why you want to dye your hair? No, not dye You look good like this. That's what all of you say. Have you seen me in a different hair color? Uh, I'm thinking like dark red. That would do. I tell you, I look good like this. Yeah, I no, look confusing. No, 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 that would do. To, that would add do. it to my confusion. Change is constant. Ma. Change is constant. I'm thinking about it. It's either I cut my hair, but I think that one is far. That one is too much. That one is stretching it. No, I've received threats. Don't cut your hair. Don't so cut either your I cut hair. my hair or I relax it. Uh -uh. If you if you relax your hair and tint it, it it damages the, the hair. hair. So yes. I have to do only one. Yes. So I relax it, leave it alone, yes. or dye it. As virgin as hair as, as it is. Like this, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your movie scriptwriter. What would you say is one of the challenging things about you know your job as a movie scriptwriter? Well, most of the challenges we we face as scriptwriters getting the right bias mm. bias as in directors yeah. or producers, producers. Yeah. yes getting the right bias and producers for your scripts because most times when you write a script when you give them a story and then they come to you either to buy or to write for them you understand they don't they don't give you what you have in mind yeah. They don't give you, they don't portray exactly what you want. So the challenge is having the right buyer, having the right producer. And then there's this joy you have when you have the right buyer, the right producer, and then you see your story being interpreted properly by the actors. Yes. <laughs> and basis on properly interpreted by the actors because you write something really nice and then you now see what a rubbish actor do. Why would you say that? And then and they don't I, give you the kind of expression accent. you need. Thank you. They don't give you the kind of expression that you need. Mm, yeah. Maybe when you're writing a story or when you're writing a script, there's this kind of story that could, there's this kind of picture you have in your right. head. And then when you finally get to sell it out, you now see the movie you're like, is this, is this, is this? Is this, is this, is this? this? How do you combine it to being a student? What school, what school are you currently well, in? Well, I schooled in IMT. I just graduated last oh, year. Congratulations. October, thank you. So that was when I actually ventured into my script writing. We had a film practical in school. Mm -hmm. So I took up, actually I had, I had my uncle, my late uncle, who is a DGN. Mm -hmm. But I never gave it a, a thought and he never gave me the chance to venture into it. I was quite younger then, yes. So during the school practical, I took it as a challenge. I told my friends, I think I should meet this director and tell him this is my area of interest. They're like, go. I said, no, I can't. My family would not accept, which is true. My father wasn't in support of me going into the movie industry at yeah. all. He was like, his brother is there. They know what is there. Yeah, yeah. I can't let my daughter go there. Yeah. Yes. So I, they pushed me and pushed me. I went for that. I met the man, director, young Charles. He said, okay, I can tutor you. There's something in you. I can. I said, okay. And that's how I started. He gave me the opportunity to write about two or three scripts wow. for our practical, which most of my course mates used for their own film practicals. So that's how I started, and I've been working with him since. Wow. That's yes. inspiring. There's something in you, my sister. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> all right, let's go straight into all that is trending on the internet. So yesterday we um, um, talked about this um, story on the governor. So now, just to remove um, names or personalities off of it, we, yeah. um, a man, a disabled man, was not allowed into KFC in the Morita Mohammed Airport. Yes. They said no wheelchairs allowed. So they harassed. I would say harassed, but the manager was very shocked. I was like, oh, we have a no wheelchairs, no wheelchairs allowed Hello. policy and whatnot. But then we also found out that it was also the um, ex-governor of Ogun State's son. So a lot of people, so the FAAN, which is the Federal Airport Authorities of yes. Nigeria, closed down that particular branch. And then the way, like, we were very quick or very swift to, you know, the way people took the story, the way FAAN was so swift to respond to it, I've got a lot of people thinking that it's not because an Irish man became or you understand, it's the ex-governor's son. So yes. is that the reason why, you know, you're getting this and you get this swift response and people are responding in this way? Other people are like, oh, this person is disabled. People with disabilities, they deserve love, they deserve yes. grace as well. What do you mean that they can't eat KFC? What's that? <laughs> so obviously now somebody responded and made this um, tweet. I was directly to, uh, made it directly to the ex-governor's son. Um, Dear Devola Daniel, your father was governor of Ogun State for eight years. What initiatives did he undertake to improve the lives of people living with disabilities during his tenure? Your father wields significant influence in Nigeria. Apart from announcing your own circumstances, what efforts has he made to support people with disabilities across the country? What contributions have you personally made to assist them? Or is your focus solely on yourself? Do the lives of others living with disabilities not matter to you? Then, of course, he responded. Debola Daniel, who is the um, ex governor, so responded and said, My dear sir, I'm deeply saddened by this angle you have chosen to take. It's simply unbecoming. You have chosen your words in a manner to tear me down and to build up. As a nation builder yourself, sir, this is deeply sad. Today, I choose not to get political with you because it's not a political matter, it is a social one. Yeah. I will speak about me today, not anyone else. I do not believe in virtue signaling or posturing. When I help people, I do so quietly. I, Adebola, fund 27 charities monthly, seven of them for children, 12 of them for people with disabilities, empowerment, and the rest for employment. From paying for CV rewrites to raising funds on my birthday for PWD charities, I live a life of silence and giving back. I won't ask anyone, but folks, you know yourselves how I've taken it upon myself to show up, especially when no one asks. I make no noise. This week, something happened to me that shook me to my core, destabilized me, and devastated me emotionally. I chose to speak out not to bully or harass, but to expose myself as a human in pain and hurting, and you took that and trampled on it for a tweet. Sir, shame on you. This is a question that means so much to you. I will answer them after the situation is done. You will not politicize my pain for engagement. You and I know you are above that. I implore to be the thing I want to be seen as more than anything else, a human being. So that's his response. Now, let's bring it back to, um, I remember the time when, um, what's her name? I don't know, I think Adora Sobido. I'm not very sure of um, the current governor of Anambra State's um, daughter's name. But at the time that she made a tweet about, I think, there was something trending. And then I think somebody was like, I forgot what the major thing was, but she talked about her, her father, which is Soludo. Soludo yes. was also CBN governor at the time. Yes. How her father changed the whole CBN um, and Policy. policies and everything. And she said that people, their lives were declared wanting and all of that. You also remember Ike Kweremadu, who yes. was also once um, Senate president. And, you know, what he did is currently in jail, but what yeah. he did is what most fathers would we'll do. do yeah. You know, him having to look for a ways to get his daughter in, you know, yes. she's sick and everything. So it's not basically, so when it comes to things like this, we see children of politicians having to suffer for the sins of, of their parents. What's your take on it? Do you think that, okay, we should look at them from a different light of, okay, this is this person? Because the reason why they are, this person made it tweet to him is because he's a governor's, he was a governor's well, son, asking him, well, governor's. what did your daddy do during that time? You said, well, what are you doing? Yeah. Now that they have said, you should not enter this place that you are shouting, you are crying on the internet. Do you understand? Yeah. So do you think that children of politicians should be looked at with a different light, different from that of their fathers? Or do you think, because even, we have the likes of um, Otodela, DJ yeah. Copy, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are like, she know they do anything, and because they are that is Otodela. Yeah. Do you understand? So there are a lot of people, are, people always look at children of politicians or children of big men or rich men mm -hmm. from the eyes of their father. Instead of looking at them individually. I think it's even something, <laughs> I don't know, 
But the video has been trending for quite a while now. <laughs> so the video was like, oh, he um, he remember when he did not have money. And we're like, oh, shut like, up. Yes, <laughs> when yes, he yes. never have money, you understand? So people are like, this is his relative. His father might have money, but him he, personally, he, he, he doesn't does not have, have money. So what's your take on people looking at children of rich men or politicians or affluent men from the lens of their father instead of looking at them as an individual? Well, I, for me, my, for me, my opinion, I don't think it's right judging them with the saints of their father. Yeah. It's, it's not right. And then the treatment the ex-governor's son received, that was quite inhuman. Yeah. It was quite inhuman. For whatever reason, that was, it, it doesn't go down well. Yeah. Exactly. But then he shouldn't be judged with his father's saints. He shouldn't be accused because of what his father did in the past. There's something we, we Nigerians don't understand. We only see people when they come out in the light. We don't know what goes on oh, yes, true. behind, yeah. you understand? We fail to also understand that these politicians, their fathers, their mothers, they have their role to play as parents. You understand? They have their roles to play as parents. So I, I, I don't support the words and the way people are coming out and dragging and saying stuff and saying, okay, because he's the ex governor's son, mm -hmm. so that's why we are all talking. No, it's not that. Whatever yeah. is right, it's right doing. Honestly. You know, I'm laughing. Because I, I, there's this for somebody I made a particular tweet that was like, everybody, my man, are good. But well, which person, my man, they? <laughs> Interesting, my mother, they, they my department. <laughs> that faculty president, because you see some people's parents, and they are so wicked. Yes, like, it's true. But you want to say it's happy true. Mother's Day to my best mother. It's true. I'm one of my best mother. Make it's me don't true. Lie. But well, it's true, you know, we have every every parent, we also forget that these people also have yes. families. And the way that they react, or the way that they are, how would I put it, the way that, okay, I'm a father, it does not also take away the fact that I'm also a businessman, yes. I'm also a politician. When it comes to the business part, they do their business. They put out their business attitude, their politician attitude, they just give it out because that is where they are. When they get to the house where their family is, they give their family their time, they give their family whatever family issue, family whatever. So I don't think it's necessary to bring it out and, and join the, the the politician or business life yeah, with your family life, yeah. yes uh, so they, they should understand that there's a sense of individuality in everybody exactly even those that are that are not uh, well known yeah everybody has a sense of individuality i, I agree with you but then um i would also say that to say my partner like rich man now if you should look at him from my angle please because in as much as yes everybody deserves yes. individuality but Names will not dispute the fact that names really open doors for people. Yes. It's because of your name. People are like, hey, you're from where? Oh, I know this person. Yes. I know this person. I know this person. So it's also good to have a very good name and it's yeah. also good to have money. So let's take a look at some of the comments on that story. This one says, a human being a social issue, not a political one. Exactly. What civil and mature response? Shame on you, Williams. The greater issue for me now is not who Sonny is, but why an establishment will say no mm -hmm. wheelchairs allowed. I don't understand what I tell of it. He's human, he's of sound mind, a paying customer. What has his wheelchair done? He's not his father. We'll address that one later. For now, the fight for inclusion goes on. This will be the landmark for PWDs, people with disabilities. This fight is for inclusivity, Sha. So let's, him al let's allow him win this cause for the sake of the disabled, Abi. So, because his father was a governor, he should suffer discrimination. What did your papa do? Funding charities with embezzled funds. Okay, I like Debola's level of maturity. I also like that he has a diplomatic approach. For me, his father isn't the one who faced the issue at KFC. So bringing his father into this is very, very childish. Yes. He still didn't answer the question. Emotional blackmailing can't work. What did your father do to help the disabled while in office? Nothing. He's a good writer. I love the way he writes and the fact that he schooled Brother Williams. I love the way he writes. He's such a Nigerian say, you know, they're very distracted. I love the way he writes. That's they complain about a life issue. They say, I love the way he writes. That's what you're talking about here. <laughs> He's such a great writer. In this life, go school. I love the response. <laughs> Now, that's how they, like, what can I don't go to school? Like, no, to make your picking go to school. But um, this particular um, comment is something I also want to um, address. And it's, it still didn't answer the question. Emotional blackmailing can't work. What did your father do to help the disabled while in office? Nothing. And something I'm going to say about this, and it's the fact that if you're not in a particular sector, yes. and if you don't do active research on that particular sector, you will not know anything about it. Exactly. You will be shocked at 
the kind of um, um, policies in place in Ogun State for people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. This man is funding over 12 people and giving them scholarships. The person that made this comment, they ask you how many organizations for people with disabilities do you know? You will not be able to answer one. Exactly. It's, I think, basically, for me, when I started working in media actively, I started realizing, oh, this is how this thing is done. Oh, this is how this is done. You understand? Yeah. A lot of things, people are just watching behind the screens. They don't know what's going on. Yes. You like, you, you're a movie, you're a movie script writer, and yeah. I know you've been a production set before. Yes, I have. People are literally watching, and they're just seeing only two of us. Yes. You know, there might be 50 other people on set exactly. here. But it's just the both of us you're seeing. It's when you're in that sector that you can actively know about it, or when you try to make research to be in a particular sector that you can actively know about mm -hmm. it. So, um, for this, I feel like, um, obviously, my love really goes out to him because it's a very, very sad thing to be discriminated. Especially when you have a disability. It's sad enough that he's unable to walk. Yes. Do you understand? It's sad enough and then you're now treating him, making him less of a person. And it's even doubled the trouble because he has a rich father. Yes. So now and people are looking at him from the side of, oh, you know, you have a yes. rich father, you should not complain, blah, 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 blah. But I actually like the fact that it's happened to someone like him. I'm not happy that it happened to him, but his class. I'm not happy that it happened. Say it shouldn't happen to anybody. It, it should say not happen to anybody. It should not happen to anybody. But I'm talking about his class being from a rich family. Yes. It's good that it had to be him. Yes. Because all this attention we are getting. Yes. Let's not lie. Because, because, because if, if it was someone from a lower class, Very true. you would not hear about At it. All. Nothing, no action will be taken. I agree. You understand? I agree. But I since it's someone of his class, now we now get to know what other people lower than his class are feeling, are facing true. the things true. they go through. Very true. Very true. Honestly, for me, I don't, I don't know, but I just got to understand from this is issue now that wow so people with disabilities are still being ill-treated so they are still being looked down on they are still being harassed and embarrassed just because of their condition yeah. which is not mostly their fault doing, yeah. yes so i thank god for using him so you're happy for him you're i'm happy, happy for him you're happy that he's in. he's an advocate to many now <laughs> <laughs> let's move away from that so now um one of I mean, not wrong, but one of the pastors in Nigeria. Yeah. So he's really known for love, marriage, advice. As the king's Yes. Um, obviously, it's my first major the Okonkwo. And he has given advice to the women and said, Rolo from Alpha Mills. So anywhere you see Alpha Mills, any guy that has been fired as, I'm an Alpha Mill, mm -hmm. you know, all the rubbish they used to say. Once I see or hear Alpha Mills, the way I scroll, I don't even see that. I don't even... My, even my algorithm knows that I don't like that rubbish. So once there's alpha male content, it will just remove myself from there. So he talked about how um, women, single women need to run for men that openly always profess. Leadership. That always, I'm alpha male, I'm alpha male, I'm alpha male, I'm alpha male, I'm alpha male. But what's your take on that? What do you, how would you, you know, rate the alpha male? Have you met anyone? I, that, that is a professing alpha male. Uh, well, I don't think I, I don't think I've met anyone. But with the way things are evolving now, we shouldn't really be having our families, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we shouldn't. Everybody should be given the opportunity to do their thing. You understand? You shouldn't have someone who's domineering you. Uh -uh. You know what? what Why? You know what I'm just thinking of? I feel like our family is the equivalent of girls that call themselves independent women. They are the same. They are they exactly. like an independent woman, our family. Because for me, when somebody calls like, oh, I love the woman I'm becoming, yes. independent, you know, I'm paying my bills, who won't pay them for you, bro? Like, you, like what do you mean? <laughs> everybody should pay their bills, everybody should do what they, whatever it is that they have to do. But, you know, our family, one of the things, where, one of the reasons why I have issues with this is that they do a lot more, to, a lot of talking than actually be it. Yes. And I feel for me, a lot of them, when I hear them talk, it comes from a deep-rooted insecurity. Yes. It just doesn't sound right to me. Like, it's just giving very, very insecure. Like, we understand. You're supposed to be the head. Once anybody comes and says, I'm the head of this house, I'm the head of this house, it means that maybe there's... Is it that somebody inside you is dragging you with you? Because somebody's dragging you with you. We know that you're a man. Mm -hmm. So why are you coming and say, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man? There's no need for that. The reason why you, why you come and start doing, I'm a man, oh, you need to respect me, feels like I see something is threatening your manliness. Yes. So that's why I'm like, okay, there's a deep level of insecurity that is there. So I, I completely agree. Anybody that is doing a family, a family around you, if they now have a family in their bio, run, run for your life. Like, stay there. Run for your life. <laughs> so all the comments here reads, 
real, the real alphas, they speak less and act more. Exactly. If you have to keep reiterating or reminding her of it, you're an alphabet, <laughs> not alpha. He's <laughs> right. As a man, one should know where to maintain the balance. If you allow social media to deceive you by following some teachings, the reality will dawn on you. The truth is women don't like alpha males. They prefer the bitter ones. Once a lady describes as herself as an independent lady, bro, no way to chat. Exactly. Like, <laughs> That's what I say. Alpha male, you direct your person. There are two of them, like two sides of a coin. <laughs> but away from that, you're going to go to the final tweet. And it is the pandemic that is body odor. I know, I understand. Oh. I know, I understand that deodorant is now expensive. But some of you have dirty behavior of going to a place like the gym where you have to sweat. And, so then, now, and then you stand in front of the AC and then you raise your hands up to the Lord. What is your plan? We have this particular tweet from a Poco doctor and he says, first, you did not, you didn't take your bath to the gym. Fine. <laughs> Secondly, you know use deodorant. That's not my problem. It's the last one. You now stood in front of AC. What is your plan? What do you want? What do you like? Why are you wicked? Let's take a look at the comments before we react to this. And some wore the same unwashed gym wear of yesterday. Make all of us collect what you carry come from house, Abby. <laughs> me, anytime he walks past me, the ones that stand in front of the fan while covered in sweat. Thirdly, you didn't brush your teeth, it is well. Faint. One bros begs by the other hand for people where they smell for gym. <laughs> You wake up, you won't bait or brush, you rush to the gym. They should have bouncers at the gym that check them and send them back home. You must all have this experience with the gym. It's choking. And I, honestly speaking, I feel like there is gym etiquette. You know, when you go to a public place, especially yes. at the gym, first of all, make sure that you're not smelling bad. I gave like, a, an, a, a hygiene tip, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, mm -hmm. which is try and bait. I know things are expensive, but yes. try morning, evening, yes. every single time you have the opportunity, pour out your body, reduce the odor. We all sweat, the weather is not funny, and then use the odorant as much as you can. Why do you could you give people? Well, just like you said, things are quite expensive. Deodorants are quite expensive. True. But then we can still at least get some soaps with good fragrance. Yes, yes. That are, that are least expensive. You understand? So we can manage it now. Take your bath twice in a day. I beg, get out of here with this heat. Please. It's not easy. Because one person will embarrass somebody. It's not like easy. you just shout at the person and then. You. Because sometimes you smell some things, your brain will just lose concern. Like one other will pass you like this, you will be angry. Especially if you, if you find yourself in a crowded place yeah. that is stuffy, you start getting different kind of. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Let us be our brother. Different sister. flavors of oil perfume. He says it's different flavors of oil perfume. Exactly. Well, well, well. I want to give, um, I have some reasons to go back to. I can see I've lost my voice because I'm very, in Kalanj, people will see me doing backup singer. Very soon. My plan is to have my own Kalanj special dedicated to me, but I know it will come. It will so, come. Very soon. Yes. Very soon. So, of course, thank you very, very much, Jane, for joining me today. I thank had a you. And it's time. nice just sing with you. Oh. It was awesome. I'm shy. Mm -hmm.